Hi viewers, welcome to Guru Globe YouTube channel. In this video, we learn how to get out of marks. Means 80 out of 80 marks in social science in a 10th standard SNC code exam. And this video syllabus is related to DSCRT, means the Karnataka State Syllabus Series. So here, a lot of students are there, they are thinking that how to get out of our class in social science. Are there any tricks and techniques which enable us to get out of our class? Yeah. See, in this video, I am going to share some important things and exam pattern and some techniques and tricks which help you to get out of work in SST, in social science exam. Okay, and also we learn, you learn how to read or uh, how to learn the SST also. So, myself, Guru Prasad, yes, we would also. So, here in this video, we learn how to learn social science. And it's a very important video and it is a special video. Okay? Yes. Let's see. The number, what the syllabus is given. The first one is that the number of chapters in this. See, in a division, there are six divisions are there. Already you know in the ninth standard also we have learned the six divisions and the same thing in eighth class also. So first one division is that there is history and in history we see that two, there are ten chapters are there in part one and part two. Ten chapters. Okay, so 10 chapters will carry 25 marks in exam. Means in your SLC board exam, the marks will carry out of 20 out of 25 or 80 marks from the history section only. You can make a note in your own for this. And the second one is there is geography. Yes, there are 12 chapters are there. And 12 chapters carry 22 marks in geography. And the next one, particle science is there, 5 chapters are there. So, 5 chapters will carry 11 marks. And social is 4 chapters, as 4 chapters will carry 8 marks. The same thing, economics also 4 chapters, and 7 marks is there. And in business tree, 4 chapters, so 7 marks. Overall, you can see here, the 18 marks is. 18 marks out of here. You know, 18 marks. Okay? And the number of chapters, you see, 39 chapters are there. 39 chapters will carry 18 marks here. Okay? See, uh, in this list, too, which sections have carried a lot of marks here? Yes, that is the history and other geography. History and geography. Means uh, history it carries 25 and geography it carries uh, 22 marks. So 25 plus 22. Yes, 47 marks out of 80 you will get it only from the history and geography. Means uh, you have to give more focus on the history and geography. Okay? For Canada students also, so for some students they are expecting um, explanation in Canada also. So that's why for this I am saying here, history must be geography. It is very important for you. So the only thing to worry about is for me, as political science, social science, economics, business study, all of them, but it is very important to study it because the two chapters will carry up here forty-seven marks. So this is the issue. Keep it. Okay, and total chapters in history of geography 22 chapters because in history 10 chapters are there and geography 10 chapters. So 39 chapters are there, 22 chapters are there. And those chapters are not so, so lengthy. Huh? Some chapters are very short, even one page or two pages so chapters are there. You can read it easily. I don't know if you have a Okay, next door. Let's come to the point here. So, 
what is the question paper pattern? Many students they don't know the question paper pattern here, so that's why here you know, I have prepared you know question paper patterns also. The first one is that we have to see here means uh, multiple multiple choice questions. Here eight questions will ask you, and each question carries one mark. So MCQ will carry eight marks this day, and one sentence of so eight questions will ask you. Each question carries one mark, eight marks, and two to four sentences question will so we call this sharp answer questions. So total eight questions will ask you. Each question carries two marks, and the next one is that two six to eight sentences questions. This nine questions will ask you. Each question carries three marks, nine to three twenty seven. And eight to ten sentences questions are there. So total four questions will ask you. And each question carries four marks. So four to four sixteen marks is there. And one mark for India map and four marks for marking the locations. So total one plus four is equal to five. So let's count again one more time. Eight plus eight, sixteen. Sixteen plus sixteen, thirty-two. Thirty-two plus twenty-seven, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine plus sixteen, uh, seventy-five. Seventy-five plus five, eighteen marks. So no one will find. There are many students. So they. Made some mistakes in answer paper while writing in board exam. Okay, I have well, I have uh, worked as a volunteer for two times in the sense board exam, and by that experience, I have shared some some information, some things in video. The first one is that MCQ is there now. MCQ, let me just question. See here. Each question has four options, and those questions are in statement wise. Yes, in the sentence, the questions are in sentence, in the statement wise, and those questions are asked in question form. That's all. For example, he implemented dual government system. The question is that he implemented dual government system. Yes, what is meant by dual government system? Who implemented dual government system in Bengal? That's what it is. Okay, the four four options will give you option A, Dalhousie; option B, Karmanis; option C, Robert Clive; option D, none of these. As then you should mark the right answer as Robert Clive. Option C, Robert Clive. Understand it, na? So here. Some students are they they made mistakes while writing. How? I tell you. Even I share things with you. Can I also? So simply, what they are doing? Answer number one. What they are doing? They simply write the option like this. The right answer. They know the right answer, but they write only options. You won't get the one. You should write option C and the answer of it. What answer is there? You should write. That's what to Robert Clive answer is there. Robert. And the fourth thing that you have to do now. The third one is one number C. Yeah, no. And there are some friends. They are strongly believe that someone come in exam hall and he or they will say the answers for MCQ. No. Please don't believe that. It's not possible. Okay. So rarely, no one will be able to do that. All of them will be able to do that. And of course, they will catch the examples. The students they will catch it and they will tell it. It's another matter. But please don't believe in that. Nobody will come in exam hall and tell the answer. What you learn, what you understood, those contents will only help you in exam, not the other things. Okay. So this mistake you should not do. You write the correct question number and its correct option, which are below. Okay, the option and the answer. Then only you will get the marks for it. Okay, this is it. So only how many questions will ask there? Eight questions will ask you, and each question carries one mark. Okay, this is one. And next one is there. One sentence question means very short questions. Very short answer uh, question means so. Here 
the answer are expected to write in one sentence in complete sentence there are some students they have written in only in one word even only one word alone but they are please don't do that okay your answer should be in complete sentence in complete one sentence be correct that is very important then only you get the answer so eight questions are there eight marks you will get it from one sentence question and the another one type is there two to four sentences question so two to four sentences here eight questions will ask you total eight questions and each question gets two marks or you know so 16 marks are there and this is what for short answer question and here you should write a minimum four points see the students i advise you i suggest you please cultivate the habit to write the answers in points wise only points wise bariya anta ready madkodri neevu that is very important whatever the answer is there you just convert it there is no matter whether that answer is in paragraph you should convert it into points wise okay and you can allow to write the answer in your own way you can use your own sentence but the words should be text should be from the text ya yeah, apko yeah, 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 yeah. own sentence mere andar hi the text na word and the hang sir that's that's what I, one example i give you robert plan implemented dual government system in bengal and the rest of india he can write like this robert plan implemented uh, or enforced or robert plan brought a dual government system can write it. but you don't you should not try to the word of double government instead of the dual government because the word is clearly in dual text it is dual government text will pass first of all dual government and dual no dual government is not double government but it is real no 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 try to write the words as much as possible for the text only you can write it in your own way in your own sentence in your own way and your own sentences should be related relevant to the textbook content the low option of the content to the low to the property that's all and here you should write it in minimum four points so four points you should get it to marks per each time and another one is this six to eight sentences question very 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 important this is because see how many questions will last there nine questions Nine questions will ask on three marks for three marks. So nine to three, twenty-seven marks out of eighty. Twenty-seven marks you will get it from six to eight sentences. Here your answer should be minimum six points. And one more thing you write the points by making a star. If each one point carry half mark, like there are six points are there, six points carry three marks. There are some students they write the points like this. Roman number. I believe to be it's not there. A ten sutta la propya thala thena. And some students they mention it number one, two, three, four. Why? And some students they they write like this points as at, neither of the points at. And some students are they they show the points like this. And science is about those. These are not that complicated. Better to write the points by putting the star mark. The elders can easily count the star marks and give the marks to you. And For three marks, you have to write the minimum six points, and there is no need to write the more than six points or seven or eight points per it. And some students are there; they do. Very much are there. Very simple. The six points only, eight or ten or twelve points per it. Don't do that. You won't get more than three marks for it. Understanding now, and from today, what the answer you will write 
in exercise digestion questions with the book, book the immune system assisted with the book, book you should cultivate the habit to write the part the answer in points wise minimum is six points maximum eight points or ten points that's the points with the book right but ten or twelve points with the book right you won't get sufficient uh, time for uh, writing the all answers in exam so that's why this is you should keep it in mind and here there are some students out there they show their own smartness बहुत बुद्धिमती तो दोस्तों ये ना बंद है। First day write one point। In answer six points there should write ना। That's one example I'm giving you। One point। The same point तो they repeat again in fifth or sixth point। With changing the structure of word or sentence। Yeah, some friends are there। They don't get it। So you don't do it। the evaluators will read each one point and give you marks and the evaluators have one key answer copy in their hand and they tell you the answer what you have written with the uh, key answer so other time you will see one thing that what is the point of the point you can see the sense of sound and the other thing and the passage is written the sound is sung by the sound that's the end of the book don't do it that is not good Okay, so this is and all points should be related to the answer, related to the question, related to the topic. Correct. Don't be confused. Very often we get hard points, but the three near points then put in there. Then they are not. Ye mana na thoda chhuch ko pata sudi. Don't worry. Just leave two or three lines point. Four lines bit bit de exam na the. Bit bit just four points per day. Okay and. Uh, try to touch the next question after some some minutes or half an hour or half an hour after again you try to write those remaining two points so you try to write and don't rewrite the answer two times the same answer two times the last answer they are submitted but the second question but the same answer last question but the don't do it we will understand we will know definitely we will know Easily we can catch it. अदर कई आता है मार्डी के ऊपर भी. That is one. Okay. And the other one is the eight to ten sentences question. See, four questions will ask you. Each question carries four marks. So four marks means you should write it. You should write minimum eight points. Eight points. The question is that if you cultivate the Habit to write the answer in six points or eight points. You will be you will be easily write to the, you will be able to write the answer for eight for the four marks. We have done that. Six points are not very good. Very good. Very good. Six points or eight points. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Eight points will be enough. That's why hundred meter running board will be there. One fifty meter running board will be enough. That's why the other board will be there. Alva, like that, yes. That's the same thing. Uh, the four marks. So if you if you can't, if you know uh, uh, the points for eight, then you can easily write the answer for two marks also, for three marks also. Thus, you get it here. Sixteen plus twenty-seven plus sixteen marks. Means fifty-nine marks you will get it only from. Cultivating the habit of writing the answer in points. Why is that points should be minimum six to eight sentences? Yadi ko ano ba usar ke lo do question kare tarhi, ato ka answer mein small shots hai kuti. Only for three points hai tawa, to for four sentences hai tawa, to for four hai tawa. Usually don't ask. Ato question kare tarhi, but if it is asked, then extend it. Extend it. Okay, and you are each one answer for uh, lengthy answer, not lengthy. Okay. Each one answer should start from the introduction. For example, the question will ask you what are the problems for unemployment. What are the reasons? What are the reasons for unemployment? Problem will ask you. Before going to write the answer of it, you should write one sentence, one one first one introduction sentence like that. Too. Following are the causes. 
those are reasons for an employment problem in India. Just simply one sentence will put it. Then next you will start to write the answer in white space. The urinals will easily understand and it looks good and neat and systematic. Understanding that this is one. And the other one is the India man and the officials. You should learn the skill of drawing India map. There are many videos out there in YouTube. You can search it for drawing the India map. Uh, in my next video, I will show you how to draw India map also. And the locations. Say, for this, you have to collect all model question papers and previous year's question papers and get the help from the teacher. Then you will be able to make the list of who minimum 50 to 70 locations which were asked for frequently and very important questions. Then every day you uh, practice the drawing in the map and go and marking the locations in the map. Then you will get four marks. So one plus four is equal to five. Is the number of the Three, three marks, so four marks, two questions are coming again. Remaining two sentences, two marks question, you have to get all. Then the same thing, India map also will get five marks. Then the question is that what about the MCQ at one sentence? Yes, sir. Uh, you will be able to write the answer uh, uh, from studying of the so three marks and two, four marks question. Yes, yes, yes. More than that, there are some topics in SST. Topics means not chapters. Categories we call headings. Some topics are there. Those topics will help you to get to marks in MCQ and one sentence questions. So which are those? Yeah, well, that is okay. See, the first one is that abbreviation. Some headings are there. Okay. Abbreviations. Abbreviations. So what is abbreviation? Abbreviation is not for. For example, in UN is there. UN is also for United Nations Organization. Yes. Like that in exam. Sorry, in section part one and part two. After completion of each chapter in your school, you collect the abbreviations from each one chapter. Read the chapter and collect the abbreviations from it and write it in the book. For that, you should make a notebook. So, here, what's there? One more, 100 page or 200 page. It's one more book I have here, one day is here. So, here, what we do? First, here you should write the heading abbreviation. Abbreviation. And leave this page complete. One, two, or three pages. Leave it. Then I can write at the wrong heading here. So, what is that? Statements. Second heading. Statements or slogans we call. Then leave again two or three pages as much more one. Then again, next one heading. You write it. That is newspapers. Okay. So newspapers and founders. In the end, newspapers with the founders are heading. Yes, sir, in that part of what why should we do it? Say. The first one here, what we have done? Abbreviation. Okay. There are 39 chapters are there. Out of 39, minimum 16 to 18 chapters have abbreviations. And unpronounced. Okay. After completion of each chapter, you will write the abbreviation here. Means uh, this work it takes. Uh, up to uh, what's that? Six month, uh, uh, eight months for you. Hmm? Still exam is that up to next year April, uh, May month we can take it. So only we are going to syllabus. We are going to do syllabus. I think we are January or February. We are syllabus. We are going to do. Only we are going to do up to February. We are going to do page. We are going to do minimum thirteen to fourteen times the page. We are going to do. Then the abbreviations write. 
However, you write the to open the notebook and open this page, this application page for writing the application from another chapter. By unintention, you read the content what you have written before. You know, now the questions were put in there, for the questions were put in there. What are you doing there? Then again, you open the notebook. Some days, after some days, then again you write. So after a very while, mother and father, the observations go through the notebook.
Liverpool. So this is the top of your learn very well or should be very well. And if we have, have any doubts, we can give the comment in the comment box and we'll answer. Okay. So Chennai to everybody, SST is not a difficult subject. But don't neglect it. If you neglect, then you won't get good marks in SST. Okay? So SST is an enjoying subject. You will learn a lot of information, a lot of things from the SST. And the present what the CET exams are conducting. That class in your life, IAS, it's our sports brother, that is CSAT exam. And uh, in KPS, KAS exam, PSI, FBA, DNU, BNU, uh, in those all exams, most of the questions will ask from the system, like history, geography, economics, Indian constitution. Hmm? So most of more than 60% of the questions will ask from SST subject only in CET exam. And remaining content for uh, uh, science subject means physics, chemistry, biology, and mental ability. Yes, in other words, mental ability, computer, those questions will come. And in, in current affairs also we see that a lot of current affairs are related to the research subject only. So that's why my dear um, viewers and the students, SLC students for uh, this video, I think it help, helps you and I hope you will get out of hope marks, means out of hope marks in SST, out of hope to uh, in marks in SST board exam and do good, be good, be happy.